I asked him about his approach to the driver. He says, I just want to hit it as hard as I can. So he's got the mindset of these young juniors. They just want to lay it out there. Get a little bit of that recoil that he, we've seen he from does. Dad through the years. And this one just tumbling up the left side of the fairway. That's out there in really good ways. Well, we've Tipping seen up. Dad swing for all these years. Justin, what about young Charlie? Oh, he's got a beautiful move. They don't talk a lot about technique. It's more about hitting shots. We saw that on display back there with his second shot at the par five, hooking that five wood around the tree. It's awesome. Looking on to Charlie. Oh, oh, he just <laughs> roasted this one. Did he ever? Yeah, took it over the corner. That's awesome. What pressure. So far, he's, he's handling yeah, all saw, the pressure quite well. Charlie wanted to know exactly where his dad's ball was. He wants to know exactly what he has to do. Come over this one just a bit. Coming in low is going to have trouble stopping. Yeah, it's not going to hold the green. See that closely mown area in the back? And they're letting Charlie Woods hit first here. That's a part of the strategy, Justin, that uh, he and his dad have adopted here. Yeah, there's about 138 yards of difference between the two tee boxes that they're playing. So Charlie's going to pound one out there. And, and I will go ahead and tell you, Tiger doesn't need to hit a tee ball if he doesn't want to, unless he's just trying to stay loose, because he's not going to do any better than that. This ninth hole is a difficult driving hole, and Tiger's not even going to hit one. Charlie's going to really have to hit one good here to help the team out. And that's kind of what he did just now. Just rip it and pick up the tee because he knows exactly where it's going. It's been a lot of that this week. Yes, there has. He is confident. He does not look like an 11-year-old kid. Going to have to catch it good to, to carry that. Might just be aiming just right of it. That's exactly what he did. That is a nice swing. He is grooving that driver. It's just automatic. Picks up the tee quickly, moves on, getting Tiger in great position. He can probably... Just take dead aim and see if he can pull it off. Oh, wow. He did take dead aim. Landed a little bit on the downslope, but that was a gorgeous shot. And Jimmy, same strategy they utilized on the ninth hole to perfection. Charlie pounded one out there, left him just 95 yards to the hole. He can do the same here. Oh, this is another good one here. Beautiful swing. Tiger doesn't need to swing at all. <laughs> And you hear the crowd reaction. Not many of them here, but people are just amazed by this. And Tiger's just going to walk off the box because how am I going to do any better than that? As long as Charlie hits something resembling solid and straightish, I, I have a feeling they're definitely going to use his drive. Seems think, to like it. Yeah, I think he did, and for good reason. <laughs> he gives him the <laughs> thumbs up. How good is that? That ball wasn't even close to landing before he gave yeah, him the thumbs up. Yeah, when you pick up. the tee up before the ball hits the ground, it's <laughs> a good indication. There it he is. He gave the thumbs up before he even knew that it flew the bunker. He knew it was going to. We're okay, Dad. Charlie, you got us? Okay. Yep, yep you got it. They're just working on his alignment there, and... Oh, a, a rare bunker. miss fairway for uh, Charlie. <laughs> Tiger loves it. Yeah, how, about, how about the way he goes after those those tee shots? Oh, it's it's fantastic, and he does the same thing with the putting. Charlie can go right after this whole location. Plays quickly too. <laughs> oh. We'll have to wait and see where that is. You can see the red line over there, so penalty area, but Dad in good shape. Yeah, this front tee is 130 yards shorter than the back tee. And that is a perfectly struck tee shot right there. Just keeps cranking them out. Again, I think they've only used two of Tiger's drives on the day. And once again, we got it covered, Dad. Come We're on, good. Dad. I Come got on you. up here. <laughs> Charlie, being at age 11, gets to take it up there, what, 289 yards away, Justin? That's about right. Tiger's, wood, Tiger's drive down the right side might have caught the fairway, but I would imagine they're going to be using Charlie's drive. Probably just caught the rough. He will get to move the ball at club length. Here on the seventh, the strategy we saw yesterday, Charlie Woods teeing off first. Trying to take it around the corner. Ooh, cuts the corner a little tight. There are a bunch of trees and shrubs on the right, but it's uh, it's okay. It was fun yesterday seeing him give that the... Uh, <laughs> maybe. 
He's got the nine in his hinge and he's gonna have to belt this one. Just came over it just, just a bit. So that looks like that uh, will not be the ball they'd play, you'd imagine. So Tiger on the green. And Charlie on the tee's been delivering a number of key drives. Yeah, hits another beauty. Got it past those group of trees that separate the left and right side of the fairway in perfect position. Charlie Woods from the forward tee, 144 yards. He's hit some beautiful iron shots yesterday and today. Oh, oh and he's hit that? another one. He got a little bit lucky, left it right, played that slope just like he played here many, many times. Charlie Woods here at the 13th. And a strategy we've seen before, Tiger sent him ahead to hit first. This is 245 yards. It's pretty much straight away. And that is looking good. That's as far up as we've seen anybody today. Drove it past where Gary Player and Lee Trevino hit it. And, and he played first. And uh, what's he going to tell Dad? Looking back at Dad. Yeah, maybe Dad doesn't. Uh, yeah, what's the deal? <laughs> Come on up. Yeah, thumbs up. It's all right. Let's go. Charlie and Tiger in red and black over at the 14th. And Charlie, as has been the strategy, teeing off first. So maybe Dad doesn't even need to wind it up. Well, yeah, this... The Charlie tees are 150 yards <laughs> forward of the back tee, and he crushed it, flew it over the bunker. I would imagine he probably gave Dad the thumbs up. Dad, you don't need to hit one here. There it there is. There it is. Come let's on. go. Come on, Dad. Let's get down here. We're going to go make a three on this par five. <laughs> back to 15 in Charlie Woods. And here he is up on the Charlie tees, as you mentioned, Justin. And almost the identical shot yes, he hit yesterday. Wow. Just hopped over, though. Yeah, jumped over the bunker, and that's down there pretty far with the club link. They won't be able to get it in the fairway, but can certainly get a great lie over there. Charlie off the tee at 16. Under the watchful eye of his dad, who hit a good tee shot himself into the middle of the fairway. So uh, a couple of choices that Team Woods can uh, take. This is probably a mid-iron, a five or six iron but he's got enough room to land it on the green and let it release back to the hole. And that's what ex exactly what it's going to do there. Just swing, Chuck. <laughs> Chuck. I guess. With his tee shot at 18, again, the Charlie tees just 418 at this par 5. Just hammered another one, just like yesterday. Yep, you've already seen it a few times. If there you've been watching our coverage, come on up, Dad. We got it covered. 